Hey guys, what's going on? Well, we finally made it to the Buckeye. Uh, for those of you who've been following along in our last video, you know we were having some brake issues out of Boomer and we were stranded in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. Well, we were stranded on top of a mountain for <laughs> I think three days or so, three and a half days, can't remember exactly now. Uh, waiting on road service to show up, they never showed up. Well, we ended up driving off the mountain into Prestonsburg, Kentucky, where we waited for another, I think, three or four days waiting on some um, parts to show up. Well, parts finally came in, uh, went down to actually get uh, Boomer repaired. The shop took one look at where the master cylinder was at, and they elected they didn't want to work on it. So, needless to say, we never got uh, Boomer repaired there in Prestonsburg, Kentucky. So, actually, matter of fact, we never got Boomer repaired in Kentucky, period. Um, we uh, basically fixed it up enough to get it back to the Buckeye. Um, we are going to be getting the brakes repaired here in the Buckeye at uh, a shop that I know, or at least get Boomer into the shop where I'm able to work on him, one of the two. Um, it's a friend of mine's shop here in uh, the Buckeye area. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's the plan now. Uh, we had some footage of where we were at down there at the service point to get Boomer fixed. Um, but, <laughs> with all the traveling and the, it's the situation of what was going on, uh, I kind of misplaced where we put that. So, we have not located the footage from the shop and our rest of our journey back here to the Buckeye. But I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys, let you guys know that we are safe. We're back here in the Buckeye, and um, we get everything taken care of. And, you know, we've been kind of contemplating on maybe off also um, changing up our vessel here, whether we're going to keep a Class A, going to a travel trailer, or, I don't know, we might even go to a B or B plus. We're just kind of weighing out our options here at the moment, kind of seeing what we're going to do. Uh, notice we've got some new subscribers that uh, tuned in here recently. Thanks for guys for uh, joining us here. And uh, thanks to Adventures with Jim, who just happened to be parked next to us, that came over and say hello. And uh, I think some of you guys may have tuned in from his channel. Appreciate you guys watching Jim's channel and ours. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to get some things together here and see what we're going to actually um, do. I mean, before we leave here, we may have a. Um, better idea if we're going to go ahead and switch maybe to like I said a travel trailer or um, maybe a class B class B plus maybe even a C because um, we've come to find out that you know boomers great it's a great rig we, we like boomer I mean, we've had a couple problems here but as hard as we've run boomer <laughs> and we're just now having some of these issues you know that's just age and you know it's the nature of the beast uh, Especially if you're traveling a lot, you put a lot of wear and tear on your equipment, and it's things that are going to happen, regardless if you got an older rig or a new rig. Uh, but just keep in mind, when you do have an older gas job, even a newer gas job, the way they, they design these things and the way they put the vital parts, they're kind of a donkey <laughs> to get to sometimes. So, you know, you got to keep that and take it in stride. Sometimes it's not going to be the easiest thing to fix. Um, now, the problem is, like I said, the things that's going on with Boomer, as far as, I believe it's a master cylinder, possibly the proportioning valve. Um, <clears throat> but the proportioning valve is one thing to change, but the master cylinder, it's literally in a location that, uh, on the road, it was just someplace that it's not in a very good place for me to try to get to myself. But anyhow, like I said, we have made it back to the Buckeye, guys. So... We we'll should be getting that all taken care of now that we're back here and uh, kind of know where to go and places to take care of these kind of things. Um, so that'd be good. But like I said, we're still contemplating on the whole possibly changing out our rig. So we're kind of maybe looking around a little bit more before we actually 100% get Boomer repaired at the moment. Um, just to see if whether or not we want to really stick that much money in him or... Um, just go ahead and trade it off for something newer or you know a different type of uh, RV uh, now before you guys go crazy no we wouldn't just leave it unrepaired before we take it someplace but I'm just looking to see what the options are before we actually 
you know, commit to doing one thing or the other. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out, Rolling with the Bowlings, over on Instagram, Facebook, and don't forget to come over and check us out, RollingWithTheBowlings.com. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.